When I first saw the Tembo trunks, I thought, hmm, this could be a streak of genius, or it could be one of the biggest gimmicks I've ever seen. Hey guys, here are always reviews. We're checking out this very interesting gadget today. Basically, it's an amplifier for your earbuds, but not for every single earbuds, only for Apple earphones. And it has to be this particular design. If you try it with any other type, it actually won't work. Essentially, you snap on your earbuds inside of these cones, and it amplifies the sound and turns it into mini speakers. It comes in a set of two to create a serial speaker environment, and then you can plug in the other end into any Android device, your iPod, your iPhone, so on and so forth. It comes in multiple colors and it retails for $30, which for cylinder cones that amplify sound is a little expensive, but you can actually get it at a street price of 10 bucks, which is a lot more reasonable. And Tempo Trunks also claims that a portion of the money will be given to charity, so that's something of an added bonus. Taking a look at the box here, a pretty interesting and bare bones presentation. We have just the uh, design for information as well as some basic info about the company. You can check out more in the link that I'll have in the description box below. But we have the gray version here for review purposes. Also comes in a white if you are interested in that color tone. And again, they are virtually indestructible because they are made out of silicon. So they're pretty good for traveling as well. You can squish them up and take it with you. The design is very simple and straightforward. It just has Tembo Trump's uh, design on the very top, and that's basically it. There's a holder in the back that allows you to snap in the earbuds, and the same thing goes with the other set. So taking a look at some earbuds that are compatible with this, obviously the original Apple earbuds will work just fine, but other devices may be made by Creative that share a very similar design language will also work just fine. So here we have the Apple variant that works nicely. This one works as well. What doesn't work is maybe the AJ Force, uh, which has again that cylinder cone or that cylinder noise isolating tip. That won't work. It has to be open like this. All right, so now I'm going to play back Alan Walker's fade. I have it plugged into my phone, tapping on the play key. And you can definitely hear that the audio quality was better than I expected. Obviously, the sound is going to depend on the original quality of your earbuds, and these ones by Creative are slightly better than the original Apple earbuds. Uh, however, the thing is, they're still not very loud. This is the maximum volume. I've turned it all the way up, and this is as loud as it gets. Obviously, some phones also can get a little bit louder with some audio boosting software, but the problem is it's probably not going to be great in the longevity uh, for your earbuds because they might get damaged in the long run. However, they definitely work, I guess, if you are stuck and you don't have any actual speakers with you and you want to blast out some sound to please your friends and family, it could be something you want to consider if you can pick one up for ultra cheap, but don't expect mind-boggling sound quality. So putting these next and closer to the phone over here, you can hear the sound quality. If you reverse it, it also still kind of works. Now, obviously, because the earbuds themselves lack a lot of bass, uh, the same thing can be said about the speakers. They really don't pack too much of a punch in that department, sadly, but they're a lot more crisp sounding than I expected originally. And just to claim, show you guys that it does work, I will unplug these from the cones, and you can see that the sound quality becomes a lot smaller and a lot more tinny as well, whereas inside the cones, they basically were amplified and were a bit So more at the end of the day, the Tembo trunks, do they work? Well, sort of. They do amplify the sound quite a bit, and in a situation where you don't have any speakers with you, they will be better than just sharing your buds directly, and they are kind of unique in the design and the premise. However, do I think they're worth $30 if you buy one MRSP? Definitely not. They're not nearly as good as actual speakers, and the sound quality is still a little bit low in terms of the volume, and definitely still a little bit tinny. So to check out more details about these, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.